Hi, my name is Olivia Elliott, and this summer I worked with the Department of Health and Human Services and their Food Protection Unit. I conducted food safety assessments on New Hampshire farmers markets, looking to identify any potential food safety gaps and recommend ways to close them. Farmers markets are great. They're a smaller scale environment that allow vendors to sell fresh food directly to their communities. But compared to other New England states, New Hampshire is an outlier in terms of how they license their markets. Vendors at farmers markets are not required to be licensed and unlicensed food vendors don't need to declare themselves to the state. There's also no regulatory oversight of these markets. So the state has a lack of information on who is selling at these markets, what they're selling, and if they're handling food safely. Ultimately, if vendors are not practicing proper food safety, not only are they potentially harming the public, but they're harming the image of farmers markets overall. This summer, I went to 10 New Hampshire farmers markets and conducted food, food safety assessments on each vendor, totaling 70 vendors. My survey touched on topics like licensing, sanitary practices, temperature holding practices, but ultimately the major food safety gaps I identified had to do with labeling and hand washing. So labeling was incorrect in about a third of the food products I assessed, and this is a huge issue because labels aid vendors in preventing food safety. Components like batch codes were often missing, which allow vendors to track product forwards and backwards if foodborne illness were to be identified. A statement of licensing or exemption also identifies to the customer if that product is licensed or inspected, so that the vendor isn't held liable in cases of foodborne illness. Access to hand sinks was also a huge issue, with 70% of vendors not having access to a hand sink. And those who did have access to a hand sink, it wasn't typically present at the market itself. Typically, the market was set up near a community building like a library or a town hall that had access to a bathroom inside. Especially when handling open foods or when preparing food on site, hand sanitizer or alcohol wipes don't suffice for hand washing. Hand washing is the only proper way to kill all foodborne pathogens. And the FDA food code requires hand washing sinks in all restaurant environments. And so finding ways to have an equivalent with vendors at markets is just as important. So moving forward, I feel the best way to improve food safety is to leverage the role of farmers market managers. Currently market managers are in charge of or organizing markets and selecting vendors, and they have a lot to do with the market success overall. Educating market managers on food safety would mean that there is still little state involvement with markets, which is something that was reiterated by vendors themselves. They don't want more barriers preventing them from selling at these markets, more hoops to jump through or fees to pay. And managers have established relationships with their vendors, so they're able to solve problems in ways that is best fit for their market. They're also eager to learn about ways to improve food safety at markets because they ultimately want the market to succeed. I spoke with UNH's Cooperative Extension about educating farmers market managers on food safety, and so they'll be working with the state to put that in action. Ultimately, by increasing food safety at markets, we're creating safer local food systems, so trust and engagement can increase with markets. Thank you.